Hello and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, we're going to take a look at the end of month function uh, that will tell us, given a, a start date, uh, what the end of that uh, month would be. Uh, so I've got some sample data listed there, so if you want to uh, pause the video and set up some dates for yourself, and then we'll make it happen. Okay, so if, uh, if the date that I'm going to use is April 2nd, I want to know what would be the end of that month. So I do equals EO month. So that EO month for end of month. And it takes two parameters. So if I, if I use A2 as my start date, and I want to know what is the ending date of the month for that same month, uh, then comma, my month's parameter would be a zero. So I don't want to advance it beyond the current month, so I put a zero for that part, and uh, I hit enter. Now, of course, the... Uh, the result is formatted as just a general number, so I need to change that serial number to the short date format. So we can see that the end of the month in which April 2nd occurs is April 30th. Now, if I wanted to say, I, I really want to know what's the end of the month in the next month, you could change that zero to a one. So now it tells me that the end of the month that's one month in advance of this date is May 31st. So you can control the end of month function by determining how many months in advance of the current date, or rather the date that you're using for your start date, uh, you, can, you can push that forward. So if I leave that one parameter in there and fill it down, then uh, one month beyond uh, May 18th, well that month would be June and its ending date is the 30th, one month beyond June 7th would put us into July, and the ending of that month is July 31st. So that is the end of month function. Uh, please tune in again soon for more Excel videos. Have a productive day.